Investigators comb through fields searching for clues, including these blood stains covering this fence. Police say the wounded victim managed to walk to a Long's drugstore parking lot before medics responded shortly before 4 p.m. This homeless person who stays in the area says he's unsure of where he'll go with a killer or killers on the run. I don't know. Wow, I don't know. Are you afraid? Do you think you'll be coming down here? No. Big Island police are looking for two men who may have been running away from the area between 3.30 and 3.45 Tuesday afternoon when the brutal stabbing took place. We're looking for, um, uh, for anyone who may have seen uh, two individuals uh, running on Kilwai Avenue uh, in a Hamako direction. Authorities say a 43-year-old man was stabbed multiple times. According to police, no arrests have yet been made. At this time, we're not labeling them as suspects, uh, but we do need to talk to them uh, as far as uh, uh, any information they may have regarding this investigation. Police have identified the victim, but will not release a name until his family has been notified. Now, the victim died early Tuesday evening. Police are looking for a man around six feet tall, 160 pounds, short blonde hair. He was wearing green shorts and a white t shirt. The other description for the other man is that he was wearing a white tank top and glasses. Again, no arrests have yet been made.